So in this video, I wanted to do a quick experiment where I get a Schaefer school pen and I turn it into an eyedropper. You might have seen my vintage pen lot video a couple weeks ago. I got a number of pens for about $25. I kind of walked through them not knowing what I would get. One of them that I got was this Schaefer. I believe it's called a school pen V2. I've also heard it called a student pen, but I believe the category is student pens and this thing is called a school pen. So anyway, I got a few of these and I realized they would be pretty good eyedroppers. This one I started using and I've actually really enjoyed it. It's a small pen, but it can uh, work really nicely posted. And even though it's probably from the late 60s, maybe early 70s, it writes really nicely. Uh, it's the Schaefer. And I believe it's called the School Pen V2. So these things are like uh, not very popular. I don't think there's much of a collector uh, collectorship out there or whatever it would be called for them. Uh, but I have been enjoying it. It's a really heavy writing medium. Uh, almost, I would call it a broad, like a Lamy broad, pretty heavy medium. No real flex in it or anything like that. It's just like it's a nice writer. I'll probably use it for kind of quick note taking. They take these Schaefer cartridges, which are proprietary shape, which I have absolutely none of. So I bought a few, but it's not something I really want to keep in stock. Uh, they're fine, but I thought it'd be more fun to get some and convert them to eyedroppers. And I believe that will work because it has some very good qualities for an eyedropper. First of all, it's all plastic, it's sealed in the back. I don't believe they're cracked. They seem to be in pretty good shape. And then uh, check out how long the threading is. I'll get it fully, now it's fully threaded and it's a fine thread and I'm turning and turning and turning. So multiple rotations. So that's a pretty good fit to me. Also, you can notice that this is all plastic. There's a little bit of metal in here, obviously. Uh, so that is an issue that could oxidize over time, but I'm willing to take that risk with these pens literally cost me pennies. Also, it has this right here. This is a uh, band around the plastic, so you can really tighten this down. You don't want to torque it too much, but you can tighten it down and you don't have to worry about the pen body cracking. The cracking barrel is one of the number one problems with eyedroppers. Uh, here's a good example. Uh, this is a platinum preppy, and a lot of times these are converted into eyedroppers, but if you tighten this too much, this piece right here will crack, right? Tighten too much, and you'll definitely get a split right here. Uh, happens 99 times out of 100 if you tighten it too much. So, anyway. So, good eyedropper candidate. The main problem is going to be right here. This little rod or snorkel or whatever it is, this kind of sticks up, which means uh, it's going to seemingly run out of ink prematurely. And also, again, this could oxidize and maybe get on my paper or something like that or rust. But you know what? The pen was basically free, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some silicon grease. And you're gonna use this to basically seal up the threading. Sometimes you would put a little O-ring at the bottom as well, but A, I don't have any O-rings left. B, the threading on this is so long that it's not really an issue. And you don't need a lot. This is basically gonna sit in here and create a kind of ink or waterproof seal. In fact, if you do too much, it's gonna cause more problems than if you don't do enough. So that's it, just a little dab. Stuff lasts forever. I had some green ink I found this is some Faber-Castell moss green to go with the green pen. Seemed like an appropriate fit. I guess will also mean that I'll never know when I run out of ink. So it'd be so well camouflaged, hypothetically. This is just a, a micro pipette. 
is good because it's marked here, one, two, three milliliters. So I'll have a good idea of how much ink I'm putting in here. Not that it really matters, but. And you can put it all the way down. You really don't wanna get ink on the threads if you could avoid it. Yeah, this ink sample is basically shot. So, put that onto the side. And, man, I wish I had a little bit more ink. Another half a milliliter would be great. But, give this a nice, snug, tighten. Again, don't go overboard, it is metal, but also it's, you know, 30 some odd year old plastic. Get all the ink parts out of the way. Give this a wipe down. Tighten this up. And again, this is the Faber-Castell Moss Green, in case you're wondering. So this pen started writing really quickly, the other one. I haven't really done anything to test them out. They were just, they arrived in really nice shape. So you can see it's basically empty already, unfortunately, but I'll be able to get a day or two's to use out of this. And no leaks, it actually looks really cool. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun little eyedropper. Again, these are a little bit hard to find, even though they're exceedingly common pens. I think you're looking for a Schaefer School Pen V2 or a Schaefer Student Pen. The names seem to be used interchangeably, but the point is that these are the student pens. And that's the model. Oh, sorry, that is the type of pen, just like a Caveco or whatever, made a bunch of student pens for students. And I believe the actual model is the school pen. Anyway, you can see it writes really nicely. It is a really nice, heavy, thick ink. This is a good ink, this free-flowing Faber-Castell. The moss green is probably a little bit darker than I tend to like. It's more of a green-black, but it does write really nicely. Uh, no leaks or anything like that. I'll be curious to see if this cracks or I'll test this out when this runs out, which won't take very long and see if there's any rust or anything like that. But that's really more of a long-term problem. And these pens are not like something I'm trying to archive for the next 30 or 40 years. I'm gonna use this pen for as long as it lasts. I'm gonna enjoy it. And then if it breaks or whatever, it's pretty easy to replace. So yeah, that is a quick eyedropper conversion on the Schaefer School Pen V2. Pretty nice job if I do say so myself. Thanks for watching.